Recently, I shot a video on how to use the B-Grip camera belt holder. I think it's useful to see what gears were used in making this video. This is the safety lock. Hold down the lock, lift the release lever, and you can withdraw the quick release plate. This is the anti-vibration guard, which is used to prevent screw loosening. Find the little hole here, push your finger in to release the guard. Then fix the plate to the camera's tripod mount. Next, put the guard back into the bottom of the plate. This is the flip out platform that allows you to place your camera on flat surfaces. That's how I secure the camera to the B grip. The quick release plate can be mounted to your lens as well. You can change your lens using the B-Grip with ease. This plate fits a wide range of tripods. That makes your job a lot easier. Another camcorder was mounted on only use a gun type shutter grip. This mini tripod is foldable and can be turned into a grip. Press the two grey knobs and you can adjust the angle swipe plate. This foldable gun type grip can be used for video shooting. Spread the legs and it turns into a mini tripod again. If you want to use it as shutter grip, break this grip to the camera's tripod mount. Get hold of the shutter cable that is included. Connect one end to the grip. Connect the other end to the shutter release port. You can then pre-focus by half press the grip's button. And release the shutter by pressing the button all the way through. To shoot videos that need smooth camera movements, you must have a tripod that allows fluid pan and tilt function as well as friction control. This tripod allows you to shift between photo mode and video mode within seconds. This is a fully featured video head with all the typical video settings, which I will show you later. It comes with an independent pan lock. This is the adjustable friction control. This is the tilt lock. This is the friction control for tilt movement. Let's see how the half ball leveling system works. First, loosen the rotating grip below. Adjust the position of the red color half ball with reference to the bubble level. Check the lock when you are ready. As such, there's no need to make micro-adjustment to each tripod leg. Look at the quick release plate. The safety pin, quarter inch and the 3 over 8 inch standard screw. Release the knocking knob, hold down the release button, slide the plate to the direction of the same button. This tripod comes with a spring-loaded counterbalance system. 
Let me show you how it works. Without the CBS, the camera goes like this if the tilt lock is unchecked. If the system is on, it keeps your camera from going off balance. You can switch back to the photo mode in an instant, such that you can shoot your photos with a Dutch angle or portrait orientation. To fit the need of both right-handers and left-handers, the pan bar can be mounted on either side of the head. First, unscrew the locking knob. Use the coin to unscrew the screw. Then you can pull out the pan bar. Put the locking knob back in. Tighten the screw and it's done. When the things are done, you can lock the pan bar to the tripod deck using its knocking clip. The tripod legs also come with two knocking clips that further ensure equipment safety.